With new details in a rail yard rampage, a gunman killing eight people in San Jose before turning the gun on himself. As first responders raced to that scene, firefighters battled flames at the shooter's house and tonight. Authorities just beginning their investigation into a possible motive. This rail yard in San Jose, California, the scene of yet another mass shooting in America. Federal and local law enforcement agencies searching for evidence after the deadly rampage. Here we are in the United States of America. We're experiencing something just is not experienced anywhere else in the world. There's a sameness to this. And that numbness, I think, is something we're all feeling. The first calls for help from the Santa Clara Valley Transit Authority coming just before the morning commute. We have three code three ambulances. This is an active shooter. As the alleged shooter seen here and identified by multiple law enforcement agencies as 57-year-old Samuel Cassidy continued to fire on his own colleagues killing eight of them before turning the gun on himself. Tactical teams rushing inside to rescue victims while explosive experts work to ward off additional threats. We received information that there are explosive devices that are located inside the building. Bomb squads also sent out to Cassidy's home, this being investigated as a possible arson just moments after Cassidy was seen here on a neighbor's surveillance video. I see a lot of the stories, you know, of this type of stuff happening across the country, but um, never did I expect it to happen, like, literally right across the street from my house. And the coroner has just identified all eight victims. They range in age from 29 years old to 63 years old. The shooting happened just steps away from the sheriff's department and other county government buildings. So officials say if not for the quick response, this could have been so much worse. Shalom. Shalom. Koholayam la. Albanawa. Yahawa. Bahashim. Yahawa Shai. Bahashim. Ha. Rahachordash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalawam to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother Amoth Yahai from Yahawada. Coming at y'all again with another beautiful lesson through the power and spirit of Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai. And uh, I know this is a uh, old, old, uh, old news. But, uh, you know, I got to put my two cents on this judgment, you know. And as you see, man, this, this, this is the real terrorist right here, man. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He's the real terrorist. He's the real murderer. He's the real, you know, uh, 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 <laughs> the real criminal, man. You know, this man has the nerve to, for when, you go, when you go for a job, he has the nerve to do a background check on you. When you do a background check on this cave gorilla, man, all types of stuff come up, man. You know, and furthermore, this, this man's true colors is being surfaced upon the earth, all around the earth, and especially in Babylon, too, man. So you should already know what, what the problem is amongst the earth, man, is, is these red, thin-lipped beasts, man, these cave gorillas, man. Okay? Now, this dude was irking, irking to put in this work, man. You know? But let's, let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and let these scriptures speak. Let's get it, man. Because the scripts is uh, lay, lay this man straight out on who he is, man. His details, his, his characteristics, his traits, all that, man. How he eat, how he live, all that, man. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 6, verse 4, and it reads this. And there went out another horse that was red, Esau Edom. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword and there was given unto him a great sword so as you see man this man's mo this man's job this man's uh, uh calling is to destroy murder kill rape rob to be uh to, to to commit identity theft to take all peace all peace away from the earth man okay he, he, he feels that he's the only one that's supposed to live comfortable. He feels that he's the only one that should have all the resources. He feels that he should be the only one to be in charge, man. This man has to, has to be put down, man. If you howl by Hashem, Yahweh don't come back. There will be no flesh that shall be saved, man, as the scriptures say, man. Okay, because this man's job is to take peace from the earth. This man's job is to kill. This man's job is to exercise his sword to keep his weapon sharp, man. And he's been fulfilling that. 
ever since he's been given, given the world. Let's keep on going. Let's jump to Proverbs. Because like I said, man, this dude, man, in, in, in the video that y'all saw, the real the real fugitive of that uh, of their nation, these are the real fugitives, man. This dude was irking. I mean, I'm pretty sure, man, he lost a lot of sleep, man. Let's get that, man. Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. Let's start off at verse 16 and then at 17. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. So this dude, man, look, man, this dude just couldn't take it, man. He probably, I, I bet you he probably didn't get to sleep for weeks, man, until he got this done. But after he did, did what he did, he took his own life. So he already had this, you know, plan on how he wanted to do it, man. He he went in at his job, you know, to uh, uh you know, put down who he wanted to put down. And then after after he accomplished his mission, he took his own life. But before this happened, man, I bet you, I bet you that this cave gorilla did not get no sleep. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness, because everything that they do is wicked, man. There's nothing righteous about these cave gorillas, man, about Esau, Edom, about the nation of Edom. Nothing righteous about them, man. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. That's how they live, man. If, if their blessing is the sword, then, what, then what, what, what comes with that, man? Violence, bloodshed, man. But now nah, you can't tell, you can't tell, you try, you jakes nothing. Oh, man, they're our brother in Christ. Leave them alone. They're not all so bad. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to show you. He's going to use, because there Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is sword on the left hand side. So he's going to use his sword, his sword to show you exactly who they are. Exactly who they are, man. Because y'all want to keep on being idiots. Okay, no problem. We warned you. We warned you. This, this is the real terrorist of the earth. The real fugitive. The real vagabond. All right. All right, this is Romans. <coughs> chapter 8 let's read verses 5 and 6 for they that are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh now this this cave gorilla these edomites are carnal they, they do the things of the flesh they don't have the spirit of upright upright uprighteousness in them man okay their spirit is off their spirit is crooked their spirit is abominable crooked filthy okay they don't have the the the, the mindset to do anything in righteousness, man, they commit uh, a wickedness, man. For they that are after the flesh do the do the mind to like you. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So with them being carnally minded, they are literally fulfilling their their lot. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai made them to be the representation of death, man. Okay? Period, man. Period, man. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai made everything for a reason, man. And these cave gorillas, these red dragons, okay? The damn, the damn, the destroyer of the earth were made for a perfect cause and they are fulfilling their cause, man. Okay? So with you knowing that, man, you should know this too, man. Let's keep on going. And their, 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 their latter end is destruction, man. Their latter end is, put it this way. You better hope you're not an Edomite. Let me just say that. Let's jump to Psalms real quick. Because you should always have this in your mind, man. Always have this in your mind. Psalms chapter 59. And let's read verse 2. Psalms chapter 59 verse 2. Deliver me. From the workers of iniquity. Who are the workers of iniquity? Esau, Edom, the nation of Edom, the Edomites. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men because they love the, the taste, the feel, the smell, the sight of blood. They can't get enough of it, man. They can't get enough of it. Why do you think they hunt? Why do you think they have a big gun collection at home? Why do you think they eat their daggone meat 30 sides on uh, 30 uh, 30 seconds on each side and then bring it to me with the, with a couple of shots of uh, uh, of whiskey and a uh, and a Budweiser? Why why is that? Cuz they love blood, man. They can't live without it, man. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. And Yahweh Shimia is only going to save the remnant from these bloody men. 
Okay, you two third Jakes, man. Y'all gotta y'all gotta receive that wrath, that correction through uh through death, man. That purification. All right, let's jump back to Romans, because this is something that only the house of Israel and furthermore the tabernacle of David is gonna be fulfilling. These Edomites can't fulfill this because they was not put on this earth to do this. So this is Romans chapter twelve, verse seventeen to eighteen. Recompense to no man evil for evil. And what does Esau do? He does the opposite of that. He recompense he he recompense men evil for evil, man. Okay, that man has to commit some type of wickedness, some type of evil, some type of uh, filth, man, just to sleep, just to just to make himself feel good. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men, and they're not honest. They're completely opposite of this scripture. These people, man, they live on lies, man. If you, if man, look, man, if you put them in a dire situation where they have to tell the truth, and if they don't tell the truth, they, let's say they lose a, a pinky or a toe. Every time they lie, you, you basically take off something off their body. Hey, man, they'll, man, that, that, they'll be, they'll be sweating bullets, man. I'm telling you, man, they'll be sweating bullets, man, trying, 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 trying to lie, man. They cannot tell the truth, man. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. And the only people that's going to do this, man, is the, is the remnant, the house of David, the ones that's coming back to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. And they definitely can't do this next one. Verse 18, if it be possible, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live, live peaceably with all men. You, wait, come on, man. We know damn well Esau can't do that, man. We, we know. We, hey, look, man. He in everybody's business, making everybody use his currency. Got garrisons in everybody's uh, land, which is embassy, which is called embassies now, now in these days, or gar, or garrisons, or gar, garrisons, garrisons or garrisons, wherever. Slaki, I think it's garrisons if I'm not mistaken. G a r r i s o n. So he got one of those in everybody's land, which they, which he calls them embassies. Okay. So this man is in everybody's business. This man cannot live a uh, peace, uh, peaceably with everybody, man. He can't even live peaceably with his own nation. Okay? Point blank period, man. So let's go here. Let's go to Ecclesiastic. It's also known as Sirach. Because Yahweh and Yahweh Shah gave us the blueprint of these devils, man. He told us how to live amongst these people. He told us how to, to uh, 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 carry ourselves uh, 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 amongst these damn uh, uh, red dragons, man. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 13. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. To kill. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave them this power. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault. Least he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city, man. Because this man is nothing but a trap. This man, whole M.O. is to bring everybody below him to rape, rob, kill, murder, lie, deceit, fraud, all that, man. Whatever you can think of that's negative, that's that's his M.O., man. Period, man. And how about Shem Yahweh Shai gave us the, uh, the blueprint. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's close out here. Let's go to Genesis. Let's let's see where he let's see where he got his spirit from. Okay, because we know first and foremost he the, the, his spirit started off with the serpent. But who did that serpent go to? At, who did who did the spirit of the serpent go to after that? Let's get that. Let's get that part. So let's go to Genesis chapter four. And let's close out here. Let's read verses thirteen to fifteen. And Canaan said unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. That's right. The Most High Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is not dealing with these cave gorillas. He's only using them for his sword and uh, to bring punishment upon the earth, and especially you tribes. And from the and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive. They're, they're, they are fugitive, man. And a vagabond. They don't keep their foot in, in their own land. They, they got their foot everywhere else, man. Everywhere else. And a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. So what did Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah say about that? Because even from back then until now, they haven't received judgment. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah has preserved them for this time. 
to receive judgment. And right now, Israel, you're seeing their judgment play right now before your eyes. Verse 15. And Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. That's completion. The number seven represents completion, perfection. And Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, set a mark, set a mark upon Cain. What is that mark? He took away his pigment, his, his, his pigmentation, his melanin. So Cain was the first so-called white man. Okay? And, and, and that's the same mark that he laid upon Esau Edom. Okay? And Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai set a mark upon Cain, least any, least any finding him should kill him. So why do you think we can't touch these cave gorillas? Because Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to bring forth the judgment on the serpent Cain. Esau Edom. You can't make this up, man. Point blank period, man. So this is so well, so may, so like I said again, may I may I introduce you to the real terrorist, the real fugitive, the real vagabond, the real destroyer of the earth, the real criminal, Esau Edom. So I don't want to write this out. I pray and I hope that this was edifying and uplifting and a faith builder to the hopeful elect. And so with that, I'm just gonna say, Shalom.